What's up, collective? What's up, collective? What's up? I'm about to do a quick five minute read just to give you some general energy. Some of you is dealing with your family, situation with the home. You may have just moved in with your family, or some of your family may have just moved in with you. Um, here's a gift. Some of your family may feel that. You have a gift that you're not using. They may have, they may, you may have a gift that they don't want you to use. They may not hold this gift in high honor. This is a family member that you're living with. It's for family. You have some sort of gift or purpose or something, and your family don't like it. You're gonna receive some unexpected income about what this gift you are you are receiving. Okay, you're gonna receive more. Your prayers are being heard. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So let's see what's going on in this house with the family. What's going on in this house with the family and the collective? What's going on with those of the collective that stand with family? Show me the energy of those that stand with family. And I know you don't want to be there. So what's going on with those that stand with family and don't want to be there? What's going on with the collective that wants their own place? Is looking for their own place. Holy Spirit, show me the message, the energy that's going on surrounding the collective. Wow, look what come out again on top. Family. Great fortune. It's hot plus I got this candle burning. Great fortune with family. Karma, some sort of judgment. Family is trying to keep you from moving forward, or family don't want you to go nowhere. Again, here's that high honor. They're not whatever your gift is, they don't like it. This, this is family too. Lovers also represents family. Your family is getting karma. You're a divine feminine. You're the divine feminine in your family. Again, right back to back, or you have another family member, another divine feminine family member that don't hold you in high honor. Here's the wealthy man out here. This is a narcissist. So you could be a divine feminine. You could have a family member that's a, a divine feminine also. Okay. Um... Or she may not be a divine feminine. This may be just somebody. They look at her as a divine feminine. Or they think that she's a divine feminine. Because she has a lot of money. But in reality she's a narcissist. Okay. And you're the real divine feminine. And they don't hold you in high honor. This person. This divine feminine right here. Or this feminine energy that's rich. Okay. She's not held in high honor. She's trying to keep you from moving forward or going somewhere. It could be two lesbians here, too, that's calling themselves divine feminines, but they're not. You can't be a lesbian and be a divine feminine. Sorry. You can't be of the same sex. That's not of the divine. Sorry. These are two narcissistic feminines. If they're not divine feminines, they are portraying to be. This is why they're not being held in high honor. Okay? Divine feminine. Now, this could be, if it's not two divine feminines, that's one faking. It could be, you could be the real divine feminine. And your family, see. This is the real divine feminine, okay? This is a, a rich lady who got a lot of money. Who's This is her husband right next to him. Now, this could be somebody divine feminine. You're looking right at these two. You're looking right at them, right? And this could be your family. They got a lot of money. Okay, here's the family right here. And here's them trying to stop you from moving forward. They're not holding you in high honor, even though you're a great fortune to them and to their life, and you have a great fortune. These people is getting karma. Okay, this is a couple right here. This could be your sister. This could be um, somebody in your family. But you are 
the divine feminine. This person, they think that she's the divine feminine because she has a lot of money. This is where a lot of people are misguided. They think that the divine feminines are always rich and looking, no, yeah, we probably were in the beginning and things happened because of spiritual attacks of the divine family. Same thing with the divine masculine. People don't want you to, you know, like in, in other other readers say this is the divine feminine and this is the divine masculine. I never said these two were, were divine. Because they got money. They're they're surrounded. They're, they want money. They want, they have a lot of pride and ego. So how are these a divine masculine? How is this a divine feminine? She, they both have money and they, they use money and they rule people with. And with them in reverse, they're both narcissistic. Okay? So this is a family member collective that you're living with or possibly they could be staying with you, but you probably stand with them right now. Um, you could be carrying yourself as a divine feminine and they don't like that. Um, let's see what else. I said five minutes, but I done went over to five, so I'll go to ten. Okay? Tell me more about this this couple right here. What what's going on with this wealthy man and this privileged lady? Why is the wealthy man and they're maybe they're not talking to you? Okay, you may live in a house and they may not be talking to you right now. They they all they do probably is fuck all day. Okay, this man is getting karma. This wealthy man, I don't know if he's your brother, if she's your sister. If this is your your child's father or something, and I don't think it's that. But this is a divine feminine right here. And you looking at these two and you ain't saying nothing. They probably all they do is have sex. Okay. You you done found out. You could have thought this couple was a you could have thought that. They were uh, a divine couple. But see, I feel like some of you divine feminines, you're like Cinderella. Okay? You're like Cinderella and you was living with these motherfuckers and they was, you were the true divine feminine and you're looking at them and you, you, you thought they were a divine couple because they do things together. They spend a lot of money on each other and they, you know, um, spend on their kids. A whole lot of money. Do extravagant stuff for their family. But they the devil runs them because for the root for the love of money is the root of all evil. And that's all these people think about. Privileges and being um money hungry motherfuckers, greedy, stingy with their wealth, want to control other people's money and build their own and tell you when you're not they run around these two run around people. And they, you know, they'll tell you, if you want to go and, and, and buy you another, a, a nice car, okay, you worked hard for that car. You already had it set in your mind what you were going to do with that car. And it's like you are saying, I mean, they'll tell you. Y'all seen all of my junk on my thing. I was embarrassed when I looked to the side. I don't even see the shit on what I've seen on the camera. I'm like, what the fuck? Anyway, um, these these two, they they will control want to control your money. If you you can even be living with them. You can be going to work. You don't have to um, you, you may buy your own food or whatever. You take care of yourself. You're just sleeping there. They don't have to do nothing there for you, but let you lay your head there. Okay. You use, you probably give them something for, for a rent or whatever. But if you, if, if I feel like it's a feminine, you're living with your family, you pay your bills, what you, what they asked you to pay. But the money you have saved extra, you wanted to purchase you a car, right? For you to get back and forth to work or whatever it is you need to do. These two will be the type of people that will tell you, give you, uh, uh, like, tell you to get a, a, a 
different card that's not as new as the one you wanted. Because you need to save money and you know you know how to do this and do that. Those type of people. They don't want you to get something nice. They want to be the one who have, you know, all the nice, luxurious things. And they want you to run around in a struggle buggy. Okay? Now, that's not for everybody, but that's for somebody who's staying with their family that got a lot of money. And they want to tell you how to spend your money. These They don't want you to go nowhere. They probably love it when you ask them to take you somewhere, but they... The reason they love when you ask them to take them take you somewhere is because they love the fact of getting to talk shit to you and know you need them. It's like my father used to do stuff like that. You know, if I needed something from him, he gonna give me a long, dreadful ass sermon to where I don't want to ask no more. And they do that so you won't ask. So this is why you're gonna have to stand up on your feet. And if they're telling you. You know what kind of vehicle to get you. You tell them you just got to be firm. Get yourself a tiger eye. No. Now, even if even if they sit there and they, you know, like narcissistic people like this, you're going to have to you're going to have to be 10 steps ahead of them. Because if you know that they're controlling like this and they're going to try to stop you from getting that car. Right. So what you do, you can mention it to them that you're going to get a car. And whatever they try to talk you out of and all of this, don't change your mind. Don't change your mind. Because this is the car that you done looked online, then looked in, you know, on TV or whatever, and you done picked this car out. And you've saved for it. You've even picked the color you're going to get. You've saved for it. You've looked up and seen how much the deposit is, how much you got to pay down and all of that. Um. Monthly payments on all of that. You done worked and got your credit together and you they done already approved you. But you got these two here. Don't try to tell you to go in there and get something cheaper or something different. Fuck them. You work for that car. You're paying for it for yourself. You're not asking them to do anything for you. And if you can still pay them and pay that monthly bill on that car, or if you're paying cash for it, whatever the may case may be, whatever it is, if you're still paying them, they shouldn't have nothing to say to you. These are narcissistic haters. They can they can be and see they're afraid because if you're chosen, you may even get a car and and flip that motherfucker to make it look like it, you paid more than what they paid for their shit. Okay? These people like this are, um, that's in your family. They're jealous of you. They don't want to see you do nothing better than them. This is why they'll stop you. And they know if you got a job and you got a transportation and you can get around, you a hell of a motherfucker to deal with. And that's what they, they want you to to, you know, depend on them so they can talk shit to you, you know? Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me more about this family and these this narcissistic couple that the collective is dealing with. You don't hold them in high honor and nobody else holds them in high honor and they're not holding you in high honor and they're trying to keep you from moving forward. But they're receiving karma. Okay, so well, let's, let's see. What is the karma? Toil and labor. What is the toil and labor? Getting out of prison. What is the prison? What is the imprisonment? marriage. So this couple, somebody feels like the marriage between these two, this, this uh, narcissistic couple that's got money, they, one of them or somebody feels like they're in a prison. 
that they're in, they they didn't got karma. And and divine feminine, I, you just looking at it. <coughs> this is crazy. It's like they, oh, oh. So this is this is a couple that they put on a front. They may have a lot of sex, but that's all. They and and they're both like in a um, imprisonment. Okay. They're both like in a prison among themselves. But they front in front of the world. They put the toil and labor in this relationship to put on the front. But they really both feel like they're in prison. And if you move with them, maybe some sort of way you've gotten somebody out of this prison state. I don't know. You may feel like they they was like this is this is like the Cinderella thing. Like somebody, you know, wants you to be cleaning up and all of this shit, and you probably got a job. If you got a job, they don't hold your job in high honor because these are some motherfuckers, you know, he's probably a lawyer or do a law firm or work in, work in a bank or some sort of some sort of professor or a real estate man or something like that. And um, he probably just spoils her. Just give her money. Okay. She she may own some sort of boutique, a dress boutique or something. Sell all of that fancy ass shit. Okay, spirit. Show me show me the energy of the collective who's moved with their staying with their family. Show me the energy of the collective staying with their family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Show me. Show me. A lot of slapping around going on in there. Moving on, departing. No means, no means, <laughs> no emotional means. Juggling. Somebody is working hard. They could be juggling their finances. For some of you, they may not actually be married. They may be in a long-term relationship. And um, this, one of them can be offering marriage to the other one and the other one may not be accepting it because they may feel like it's a uh prison with this person or they have to do extra work in this relationship now this is for the feminines who's living with their family you watch the, the shit going on yeah, it's a lot of slapping going on in that relationship collectively Somebody may be a Gemini. Somebody may be a Pisces. Somebody may be a, a Capricorn. I mean, a Virgo, Taurus, Earth sign. Air sign. Queen of Swords reverse. Who's the Queen of Swords reverse? Is this you collective? Your strength? Your taking charge type of energy? Taking charge, taming the beast within, passion, eager. Sun. 
So there's two Leo energies out here. There's water signs. I see air. But somebody is moving on. Um, somebody has gotten some sort of happiness and clarity in the situation. Things have been exposed. Now this could be you collected. You could have seen some things going on in this relationship with these two couples. With this couple. You could have started taking over doing things in this house. Or wherever it is that they were. You could have intimidated them. Because I've been there. When you try to, maybe their house wasn't kept up. and They had money and they just had so much money. They didn't never wash, do their laundry. They just constantly buying clothes, buying clothes and letting it pile up and stuff. And you could have offered, you know, to help, to help fold some clothes or fold the towels up or something. They didn't like that. And they were seeing you as you truly are because you're like the Cinderella. Okay, and you're in this house with all of these lazy motherfuckers. And you have a divine energy, so you want cleanliness. And you being there, you see a lot of things was exposed when it came to this couple. Mm -hmm. You may have left this place to get out of this mental imprisonment. It could have been a mental imprisonment for you living there with them. For some of you, this may this may even be your parents. <laughs> okay, this could be your parents, fucking all day. That all that's all they can do. And it ain't ending. Death in reverse. Old habits, they're not ending old habits, old behaviors. Yeah, this is some of your parents. This is somebody's parents you, you, you either have to move back in with or you stand with. And you may want to, you know, try to clear the energy in their house. You started cleaning up. You could have started noticing you may have gotten on a spiritual journey and, and realized that certain things carry toxic things and energies and stuff. And you may have been trying to clean your parents' house and they don't want to, they don't want to hear that. They don't want you to do nothing. Okay. They don't do nothing. Both of your parents may be a Leo and you may be a Gemini. Or you may be a Scorpio. These are your parents. <laughs> Because you can't stand up to them. Whatever ideas you have going on, they, you know, are projects. They don't agree with it because they're narcissistic and they want to run you. You can't communicate to them. Whatever project you try to put effort into, um, they, they're against it. Keeping you uncertain, unsure, overwhelmed of a situation. How old are you? But you don't you don't feel like you're a failure. And it is you you don't feel, you know, you're not at five of swords. You don't feel like you're screwed up. And these are your karmic parents, by the way. If this is if, if this is resonating with you and it's your parents that you're living at home with them, your family, they're your karmic parents or your karmic family. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right there. 
And if this reading resonated with you, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Um, and hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.